well, I think we are headed to yet another um, pitched battle between the UK and the EU, which could, men could make, shall we say, the sausage wars look like, well, tea time at the Ritz. Um, you know, this is going to be, I think, an almighty struggle because I've said from the very beginning, the only reason you would put Frost in as like the chief guide between the negotiations between the UK and the EU is for blatant antagonism. He has said right from the very beginning, even though this was the deal that he signed, agreed and negotiated to, is now not working. So very obviously, he was not the guy to actually deal with these negotiations. He was completely the wrong guy. Even today, you've had the DUP come out and say that they want to get rid of the Northern Ireland Protocol. Yet, these questions must always be followed with, well, what do you replace it with? Because as we have said multiple, multiple times, and you will have heard me say it, that you cannot, you literally cannot have a hard border between the North and the, Re and the Republic of Ireland because of the Good Friday Agreement. You second you do that, violates that agreement that is an international agreement even jeff uh, jennifer arden the prime minister of new zealand has said that if britain violates that international agreement she will refuse britain's entry into the pacific partnership like i say and even america even america will come down hard on us for this so what on earth do they intend to replace it with? Because there is nothing that you can replace it with. We've had, we've seen in the past, when we covered a video of Jeff Taylor, of him talking about the perfect solution. And it basically amounted to an honor system of trusting these companies to do as they say. When if anything, these companies will do anything but as they say, because then who does the checks? Oh, just leave it to them? Why on earth are they going to do these checks? Like I say, you know, it's that great, um, the great line, who watches the watchers? You know? <laughs> um, and yeah, again, the these Brexiteers, even like the brain of Brexit, Daniel Hanan is saying that we have to get rid of the Northern Ireland Protocol, but then has nothing to replace it with. If you've got nothing to replace it with, why on earth are you promoting these solutions? Because the only solution to this problem is for the UK to actually join uh, the single market and customs union again. That is the only way you solve this solution. In a single pen stroke, you solve this problem overnight. But of course, that's not what they intend to do. So let's get even into more should we say, of David Frost's rumblings about wanting to deviate from the Northern Ireland Protocol, which will cause almighty problems. And I think this is going to kick off. I do not... Uh, this is absolutely going to kick off in the next week or two. So be prepared. <laughs> be prepared, because you're going to be hearing a lot about this. So but before we do jump into that, please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and a one-off donation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can, well, buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much to all those people who do support the channel. And of course, uh, please do remember to keep on wearing your mask and think about social distancing when you are out there because the virus is still out there. So this comes from Reuters and the title is Exclusive. UK to warn EU it may deviate from Brexit deal on Northern Ireland, say sources. So, Britain will threaten this week to deviate from the Brexit deal unless the European Union shows more flexibility over the Northern Ireland. One UK and three EU sources have told Reuters that a move could thrust the five-year Brexit divorce into complete turmoil. Deviating from the so-called Northern Ireland Protocol is a risky step. Its aim was to prevent Brexit disrupting the delicate peace brought to Northern Ireland by the US-brokered 1998 agreement that ended three decades of sectarian conflict. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who signed the 2020 Brexit deal, 
has been dismayed by the protocol, which has imposed paperwork and checks that London says could prevent British food staples, such as sausages, going to Northern Ireland. Brexit, uh, oh sorry, uh, David Frost, the, Bre uh, the British minister who leads the Brexit negotiations, is preparing to announce a significant potential change on the protocol that could have far-reaching consequences for the, for the relationship with the EU, one source said. The plans are being worked on by Downing Street, and Frost is due to update the Parliament on Wednesday about Northern Ireland, so by the time this video goes out, we could know these problems in detail. Um, so about Northern Ireland and Brexit, and will also present a paper to Bre uh, on Brexit to lawmakers. After the Reuters report, Frost has told lawmakers that the protocol was not suitable in its current form, and that if an agreement could not be reached, then London would consider all options, including unilateral action through Article 16 of the protocol. If this was not sustainable... You, you negotiated this. As uh, the Sinn Féin leader in Northern Ireland said, your fingerprints are all over the protocol. But again, this is, this is the ridiculous world that we live in, ladies and gentlemen. So it said, all options are on the table, Frost said. When asking if you would uh, consider triggering Article 16, we've said it is not sustainable in the way that things are working at the moment. Things have got to change. Frost said that it was not yet clear whether or not a fundamental rebalancing of the protocol was actually possible. Brussels expects Frost to push for a uh, deviation from the protocol unless the EU agrees to a compromise. Uh, and it said to an EU diplomat who was briefed on the talks of the Brit British negotiators said, We will not agree to the reopening of the Irish protocol, said a third source, a senior of EU, EU official said. Britain is expected to go beyond these demands and for changes to veterinary rules and the senior EU official and a second EU diplomat said that London would seek to have the European Court of Justice removed from the arbitration process. Preserving the peace in Northern Ireland while protecting the EU's single market but without dividing up the United Kingdom was always the most difficult riddle of the Brexit saga since the 2016 referendum. And since the United Kingdom's exited the bloc's orbit on the 1st of January, Johnson has unilaterally delayed the implementation of some provisions of the protocol, and Frost has said that the protocol is unsustainable. And here's the thing, it's not unsustainable, they just don't want it to work. It's as simple as that. Frost is insisting on a bespoke veterinary deal based on equivalence with London and says that it would remove the needs for controls on goods crossing from Britain to Northern Ireland. Again, they want, so they've just said it there, they want the EU to follow their rules, not them, not the ones that the EU, they don't want, because they don't want to follow the EU rules. That's essentially the point that was brought up there. We don't want to follow your rules, but we want to make you follow our rules. Again, <laughs> We have no leverage for this. This is this is this is the, the the absolute stupidity in all this. But there you go. <sighs> so Britney's continue to argue that there should be a more flexible approach to agri-food rules to limit the impact on everyday lives, and uh, will spell out clearly what options and risks are. The 1998 peace deal largely brought to an end uh, the conflict known as the Troubles. Three decades of conflict between Irish Catholic uh, nationalist militants and pro paramilitarist loyalist paramilitaries, in which over 3,000 people were killed. An open Irish land border is seen as a critical to the spirit of the deal by aiming to safeguard peace, free trade, and travel on the island. But this became a problem after the 2016 Brexit vote. The EU could not close the land border between Northern Ireland and Ireland, but feared it could become a backdoor into the EU single market. This result was a 36-page protocol on the island and Northern Ireland, which effectively keeps Northern Ireland in the EU single market for goods and having Northern Ireland and apply EU's customs rules at its ports. But by checking uh, on some goods crossing between the mainland and Northern Ireland, many pro-British unionists said the protocol has breached the 1998 peace settlement. Loyalist and paramilitary groups have told Johnson in March that there were temporarily withdrawing support from the peace agreement due to concerns over the Brexit deal. And of course, 
I think this is... Uh, I hope, to be honest, in my hope, that this is just a big piece of theatre. That Frost is just wanting to put out something over the summer to make the EU sweat before they secretly back down. Because that's what happened during the Sausage War debacle. It got heated up to such an extent that Britain secretly just backed down and accept and accepted the EU's very own concession, which they themselves even said, well, you can have a three-month extension to help sort stuff out. And our government is continuously kicking cans down the road. And remember, what you are seeing on that border between the UK and the rest of Northern Ireland is what you are going to be seeing coming into effect the more those checks come into place. And a lot of those checks are going to start from October into March. So there is going to be even more chaos, not at just that border there, but down south and all the other ports of entry into the UK that is going to cause even more chaos. Um, and yeah, we are heading into... <sighs> disaster and I've, I've always said you know we're, we're looking forward to that the abcs that are going to create the absolute perfect storm of disaster for this country austerity brexit and covid when they hit they are going to leave no prisoners standing so as always uh thank you very much for watching please do remember to hit that like share and subscribe button and of course down below uh there are links to my patreon page as well as one off donation link called buy me coffee where you can well buy me coffee and as always thank you very much to all those people who support the channel that way and of course please do remember to keep on wearing your mask and think about social distancing while you are out there and as always thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next time